Ohayo! My name is Minomi Toku and welcome to 9 Hours, 9 Persons, 9 Doors, part 24. We are here now, yes! I just skipped all the dialogue in between, uh, I didn't read it, because you, you can just jump, jump around with this flow option. Which is very, very nice that they implemented, because in the original DS game, as far as I remember at least, there wasn't this option. So yeah, we are we jumped right before we have to choose a door we, which we want to go through. Um, and in order to achieve the true ending, we need to go through door number seven. Seven it is, right? And I think Ace just used that drug on himself. When Chumpy turned around, Lotus gave him a look of pity. Well, we really don't have a choice now. Yep. We can't let his sacrifice go to waste. And yeah, we know now that this isn't a sacrifice, so... Right? I don't <sighs> feel too bad for him that? anymore. Especially not what we've seen, what happened in, in the safe ending. You say something? Mm. No, nothing. I f it felt wrong, but he had to agree. Yep. Then suddenly Santa spoke. Yeah, but we're not done choosing yet, are we? Nope. Huh? What do you mean? Well, we haven't decided who's going in what door. Yep. Ah, oh, yes. Yes, that's true. So we will do that now. <sighs> Enough of this screwing around. Let's decide. Yeah, I want you to first, go through Lotus. door number seven. Which door do you want? I, um... I want door number eight. Yeah. It's the same number as my bracelet number. Got it. Just because. You're, eight. You're next seven. Which one do you want? Probably seven. I'll take seven. I can't get along with that old lady. Yeah, and it's his bracelet number. What? What did you just say? And now they're... Yeah. Her face distorted by rage, Lotus took a step f towards Seven. He threw up his hands and made a face like a child caught with his hand in the cookie jar. Oh, I, I didn't say nothing. No, you didn't. Oh, you're gonna get it next time. <laughs> she shot him a glare that would have melted steel, then turned and stalked off. Alright, who's next? Me, 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 me. Finally, they stopped on Chunpei. Yes! Chunpei, which door do you want? Seven. At last, Chunpei's mind was already made up. Of course. We went through door number eight the last time to achieve the safe ending. Now we want to go through door number seven. I... I think... I'm gonna go with door seven. <laughs> Wasn't there written before that... Chumpe already ma made up his mind, and if he's doing like, oh, uh, well, I think, hmm, yeah, I think I take number seven. You haven't made up your mind yet. Okay, seven it is. Yeah. And the rest. Right then, that means June's got to go through eight. Yep. What? Why? We can't go through the same door together. Santa grimaced and muttered angrily to himself, but finally began to explain. If the six of us are gonna keep going without leaving anyone behind, there are only three ways we can do it. Mm-hmm. Plan A. Have three, five, and eight go through seven, and four, six, and seven go through eight. Mm-hmm. Plan B. Four, five, and seven go through seven, and three, six, and eight go through eight. Yep. And plan four, C. Three, six, and seven go through seven, and four, five, and yeah. eight get eight. Anyway, we can't. We still can't get uh, on with June. There are we no other combinations. Yep. In other words, three and four, and seven and eight can never go through the same doors. Five and six too. Oh, did I miss something? Well, seven and eight. Yeah, be better. Better just separate them. You get it now. As Santa finished, Chun looked over at Junpei, tears welling up at the corners of her eyes. Yeah, I can't go with my boyfriend. Well, maybe ex-boyfriend or soon-to-be boyfriend or whatever. Oh no! You're saying we aren't gonna see each other again for a long time. <sighs> yeah, get over it. Junpei felt just as June did. He wanted to be at her side through whatever trials they were preparing to face. But he knew if they were to survive, he had to swallow his feelings. In order for the six of them to move forward, he and June had to be separated. He looked at June. He was scared to lose her, but 
He swallowed, steeled his resolve, and did his best to smile. Hey, come on. You're making it sound like we're never going to see each other again. Yeah, you, you, you see each other right afterwards split again. Up, but only for a while. Yeah, come on. This is just on. like when we went into the four and five doors, remember? We got split up then too, but we all met back up. Mm -hmm. I'll bet seven and eight are just like that. You mean they're connected somewhere? Yep. Yeah, probably. Probably? Uh, she didn't sound very hopeful. It was Seven that interjected. Yeah, I'm sure they're gonna connect somewhere. Why? What makes you think so? If they don't, then neither team can get through door nine. In other words, the game would end right here. Yep. Zero's been on top of his shit so far. I don't think he'd blow it now. I'm damn sure that son of a bitch wants to have his fun as long as possible. Mm -hmm. He's not gonna end this game until we get through the nine door. True that. True and say nothing. Mm. Come on, stop sulking. The tears were gone, but her eyes were still sad as they looked at Chumpy. He met them, and with what re 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 reassurance he could manage, he laid his hand gently on her shoulder. I just find this text hard to read over the, the, those backgrounds. I don't know. It, it was so simple with, with the text boxes down here, so why would they take them away in the English version? I have no idea. Everything's gonna be fine. We're gonna see each other again. I promise. Come on, Chun bit her lip and gave him an almost imperceptible yes. nod. Promise? Yeah, pinky promise. Santa's voice shattered the moment. <sighs> you guys are done, right? Yeah. His tradition continued. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Clover and I will both go into separate groups. Mm -hmm. I figure I'll take eight and Clover can take seven. Any yep. problems with that, Clover? Probably not. Looked away when it was silent for a moment. Yes, in the meantime, they searched through everything and this is where Snake disappeared. So that's why she's sad. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. <sighs> All right, we're ready to go then. Let's yeah. move. Good gosh, that took about five minutes to get going. <clears throat> Come on, Clara, son, Junpei, Walter, watch door number seven. Santa, Lotus, and June headed for door eight. Bye, June. Bye, Lotus. For a long moment, they stood in front of the door. Seven took a deep breath. You guys ready? Yeah. Okay. Come on. Okay, let's go. Finally, let's go. And door opens. It's open. Get through it, time starts. A narrow hallway stretched out before them. Seven and Clover leapt through the door. Let's do this! Hurry! Yep, run. The moment they did, their bracelets beeped. Me, me, me. The detonators in the bracelets had been activated. Junpei stepped forward to follow them. But as he was about to step over the, tre the threshold, he stopped. <sighs> uh, he looked to his right, toward door number eight. Chun stood there, a mirror image of Junpei. She turned and looked toward him. Their eyes met. They nodded. Jumpy. Get going! The farewell took almost 1.5 <laughs> 1. seconds. <laughs> why Why do you know that? Like, it, no, it's not one second. It's not two seconds. It's 1.5 seconds, to be exactly. What the hell are you doing, Junpei? Yeah, what the hell are you doing? Come on. Good sound, good. Well done. He heard the sound of the number door slam shut behind him. Come on, get going. His bracelet gave a cold electronic beep. Only 81 seconds left. No time to waste, guys. Let's get moving. Yeah. Find the dead. Seven led the way down the hallway. Chumpy and Clover followed him as fast as they could. There it is. After what seemed like a Far more than 81 seconds, they reached the end of the Look, hall. The door on the left. I can see that dead, yes. There was no time to rest or catch their breath. All three slammed their hands in quick suc succession over the scanner panel on the dead. There we go, and... Yep. Yeah, you made it. Still trying to catch his breath, Seven leaned heavily against the wall. It stopped. It stopped. Yeah, it stopped. Ooh, surprise, surprise. 
His smile seemed forced and a little crooked. This is the second time we've gone through one of these numbered doors, but... Whew, you never really get used to it. <laughs> Better not get used to it. He stood up straight, no longer out of breath, and wiped some of the sweat from his head and neck. That was quick. Just laughing and then... Uh, yeah, I'm okay now. Chloe smirked at him. I would have thought a guy your size would have bigger balls than that. <laughs> <laughs> what? Ooh. What the hell did you just say? Say it again! I dare you! <laughs> Way to go, Clover. Yes. Have no... Shh, you little... You wanna die? Come I'd on. like to see you try. <laughs> Fucking Brad, alright, let's go! Hey, no. hey, calm down, guys. This isn't the time for this. Yeah. It's not gonna do us any good. True that. <laughs> Especially not fighting with a little girl. Uh, Jump aside. Sometimes he wondered if the doors and the puzzles were really the greatest challenge they wait faced. Wait here for a minute, alright? I'm gonna go see if there are any other doors. Yep. They didn't respond, but Junpei wasn't in the mood for a conversation anyway. <sighs> just Leaving those two alone? Uh, and of mm. course it's shut tight. I hope they aren't gonna tear each other into pieces. There's a short hallway on the left here. And an iron wall. I doubt I can get through it. Mm. At least he gave up and returned to Seven, who was tapping lightly on the wooden door. This door's the only option we've got, right? Yeah. Seems looks so. Looks like it. So then let's hey, open it and go from... something's written on the door. Hmm? Where? On that iron plate. It says operating room. Where? Iron plate? I don't see any. The truth. There could be body plate? parts inside here. Well, mm. this is probably not going to be pleasant. Mm, operating room? I mean, um, well, there's two kinds of operating rooms. The one that uh, surgeries take place in and an operating room in the sense of, um, what do you call it in English? Like all, all the machines are there, and like the the captain of the ship sits there and just well operates the ship. Something about it made Jun Pei feel well. Nervous. There's no point to standing around. So let's see Might which well one it go is. Go in and see what's waiting for us. Yep. So Sun grabbed the brass knob and slowly opened the door. Let's see what's in there. Uh -huh. Grown of an old woman. What's okay, wrong? well. No, it, it's nothing. I don't think that's uh, like the groan of an old woman, but well, a chill sneak that's way down to impiss Let's just go. Yeah, let's just go. Quickly, he gathered what courage he could and took the first step into the room. Seven followed with Clara right behind him. Huh? Yeah. Part of the room just past the door was obscured by a screen. What the hell is this? Why don't we take a look? Hey, Clover! Clover's curiosity got the better of her and she darted past Chumpei to peer around the screen. <coughs> okay, I think it's the first kind of operating room then. Her scream nearly blew out Chumpei's eardrums. Yeah, mine too. Wha Clover! He and Seven ran toward Clover to see what had hey, frightened what's her. Wrong? The row, they, they rounded the screen and the cause of her outburst was immediately clear. Well, what it's a mannequin. Is this? It's a mannequin. Is, is this a corpse? No. See, here, here, here are some joints, so it's, it must be a mannequin. It was something that looked kind of like a human lying across some sort of bed. Mm, no, not a bed. An operating table. The table sat on a rusty steel lift and a cluster of bright operating lights shone down on it from the ceiling. We should probably take a closer look. Yeah. Yep. We should. Slowly they approached. See? It's a mannequin. As they got closer to the body, it became clear that it wasn't a body this at is... all. What the hell? That's just a huge doll or something. Yeah. Uh, the doll? Yep. Clover did not look terribly comforted. Slowly she approached the operating table and looked as intently as possible from as far away as possible at the thing. <sighs> Chumpei could see her You're relax. Right. It's only a doll. Man, it really scared me. 
She heaved a great sigh of relief and wiped a few drops of sweat from her forehead. Seven smirked. <laughs> well, I guess it would have been weird if you actually had any balls. <laughs> <laughs> right back at you, Clover. Shut it. Don't you start with me, fatty. <laughs> What's this? You want a piece of me, short stuff? Yeah, bring it on, you whale. Uh, hey, guys, not again, come on. okay? Seriously, knock it off. <sighs> just for once. And, I mean, Snake just disappeared, and this time Clover actually looks or seems uh, not that different. Well, at least as she she's bouncing around as ever and well is fighting with other people as ever or even more than before. Hmm. Maybe she knows something in this timeline. Anyway, it looks like he's got something the two of you could stand to have a little more of. A heart. Talking about a heart. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, this? You mean on his chest? Yeah. yeah. It was set a little higher than normal for a human body, but from the shape of the, of the organ, there could be no doubt that it, that it was a heart. Why would there be a heart in a doll? You ask me. It's a doll. You think maybe it's like a medical mannequin or something? Or maybe it's got more personal uses. Uh, seven. Seven screen was more than a little perverted. <laughs> Clover glared at him, anyway, of course. How about we take a look around this place? Let's Didn't go. we find when we went through door number eight, we, we find another of those mannequins, right? Okay. Sure thing. So maybe they are somehow related or something? Of course, I mean this is like a hospital ship, so it's only natural that there would be an operating room and well maybe an experimentation room or something so we just look here right at this thing so we came from here so one of those doors would lead out i hope at least so so finally we got the puzzle these dolls are really kind of creepy you know hey it says something here john you think that's his, that's this doll's name Maybe. This thing is creepy. I wonder why it's on the bed. Yep. What's this? Hey, I wonder what this thing is. It says KG. KG on the display. Kilograms. You think maybe it's a scale? Could be. Can we uh, examine? There's some sort of lid of this thing. Oh, why don't you try opening it? Can't. There's no handle. I can't get under it with my nails either. Okay, so we need a handle for this one. Then what's... Oh. Lots of stuff. There's a lot of surgery stuff. There's some scalpels, a few pairs of forceps, and a couple of syringes. Oh, if it's too rusty to be useful though. Hey, there's a scalpel here that looks new. Yep, this one. So... Wait, is, is that blood on this thing or is that rust? But the tip is missing. Or are scalpels shaped like this normally? I'm not quite sure. Anything else? None of this stuff looks useful. Yeah, it's all pretty yeah, rusty. What's this? A uh, human medical mannequin something with guts showing. Ew, gross. Hey Junpei, there's a slit in this thing's chest. Yeah, sure is. There's something in there. Maybe we can get it out. Ugh. Damn it. Sticking thing won't budge. It's stuck. Well, I guess you can't use force on this one then. We need something small that can fit into that little hole. Uh, maybe... The scalpel? If we had something that could fit into those cracks, maybe. Uh, the scalpel? And to specifically a lung. Anything else? I thought I could take it out of the scalpel film thing, but apparently no. <sighs> well, let's look over here. Fake chest. Okay. But there's no heart in there. 
Uh, what else do we have here? Maybe you're supposed to eat something like the gas to kill the bacteria. There's a boiling thingy over there. <sighs> There's nothing on the lid and the drawers. Okay. To sterilize them, there's nothing in the drawer. Okay, I get it. What's this? There are a whole bunch of bottles on the shelves. They all look like medicine. They've got labels, but they're all big medical words that I don't understand. Um, what, what about here? There's a lot of different kinds of medication. It's hard to tell them apart. Uh, over here. That's a lot of medicine. I wonder if one of these is a laxative. Uh, why would you want a laxative? Yeah, it sounds kind of gross, but I'm pretty sure every one of us had the same idea. Ah, to just get the bomb out of, of your system. If you had some laxatives, maybe we could crap out the bomb zero part in us. Unfortunately, damn it. I don't know what medicine does what here. Oh, crap. What's this thing? What's this thing? It's got these short iron legs. Maybe it's a heater? There's nothing inside it. Maybe we need to heat something up. So, what's here? They use this for surgery, right? Let's see, syringes, cups, plate. There's a sort of scissor-ish thingy. Yep. Ah, forceps. I don't know if this is rust or if this is blood. I'm not quite sure. Can we use anything else? Probably not, no. And what is this? Oh, hi there. Another medical mannequin? From the looks of it, this one's a chick. She has a name too. Lucy. Poor thing. Looks like Miss Lucy only has a head and a left arm. Maybe we're supposed to gather all her parts. Well, we got one of them. This bed doesn't look very comfortable. Lucy's head that I was sitting on the bed. Maybe something will happen if we gather all of her body parts. So we need to gather them first. Oh well. There's some kind of dewi device attached to the bed. It says KG on the panel. Is this a scale? Maybe. Maybe not. So let's find the other parts, I guess. What's here? A white cloth. Okay. That won't help too much, so what's here? Preparation room. It's locked, of course. We can probably find the key if we just look some more. Let's look somewhere else. Maybe... I can know. Looks like it's locked. Guess we're gonna need a key for this one too. And here we came from. Where are you going? This is all we came through, of course. Nothing's there. Cool, cool. So I think uh, I know what we need to do. Not the scal scalpel, but the forceps. Fake organ? Wasn't there anything else? Medical mannequin. One of the organs is missing. The organ is... Organ? <laughs> really clever. I expected more from you. Oh, like you could do better. So we got a fake lung. So what we do with that? Lying on the bed. Apparently his name is John. So, I thought that we, we will get some kind of... Mm, whatever. Maybe we need to just combine those two. Nope. Hmm. So, where's the key? Why, why isn't there anything? And I, I've looked at those. Boiling tools to sterilize them. There's nothing in the drawer. I know that there's nothing in there, but what am I supposed to do then? Uh, of course, it's hard to tell them apart. No, I can't do anything like this. Maybe here, maybe there. No. There, 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 there's literally nothing here. And I... I can't... Maybe I can't combine, combine this with a scalpel. I can. Organ key. We. So this is where the key was hidden. So can I open? Awesome! It's unlocked. Yes. So we needed to cut cut that organ. So the scalpel and the organ are gone. Well, at least we got a new room to look at. Good gosh. What's this? 
blue liquid and this is red liquid or what? Yep, red. There's a note on top of the table. Iron 1, salt 2, water 3. Carbon dioxide, ammonia, ethanol? Um, what's with that? Wait, iron... Iron only has a single atom, right? Salt has two that because water has three because it's H2O, right? Carbon dioxide. I don't know. What do you think this is? Hint this is hinting at. Maybe it's got something to do with this box, probably. And this one locked. Looks like you have to enter a passcode on a keypad to open it. It can only enter three numbers. E is for enter and C is clear. Once you input the number, press E. If you mess up, press C. Let's give it a shot. Uh, one, two, three. No. Uh, there's no way I can do this now. Let's look at some other stuff. Slugs on the ship. Why slugs? Well, if there are, I was thinking we could put salt on them. What's she pointing at? The label uh, states... Ah, natrium chloride. That's two atoms, right? Salt, huh? Do you think Sam, Sam will shrivel up if we put it on him? <laughs> hey, you say something? So... There's a bottle of iron powder on the shelf. How do you know it's iron? It says F-E. Ferrum. For iron, right? Yep. I think it's... Uh, the. the the root of FE and stuff is Latin. So what do we have here? Something stinks. It's, is it coming from this bottle? It says in NH3. Oh, that's ammonium. Yep. It, it's it said that it it stinks like um, the urine of pigs. So NH3 equals four, right? Because one N and three H. Well, that of course stinks. It's ammonia. What do we have here? Hey, Jumpy. There's dihydrogen monoxide on the shelf. Um. Wait, carbon dioxide? No, it's monoxide. What's that? Ah, oh, yeah, it's water. Why don't you just say water? What's this? Looks like a can of spray nozzle. CO2. So that's free too. Fill of carbon dioxide. So we know now all the, the things. Ammonia is free and carbon dioxide is. No, sorry. Ammonia is four and carbon dioxide is free. Oh, good stuff. Let's go for a drink. What are you talking about? I'm talking about that bottle. It says uh, C2H5. Good gosh. What would that be? It's like, since I last took chemistry in high school, that's like, I don't know, a few years back? Six at least, maybe? It's ethanol. That's right. It's also known as ethyl alcohol. It's pretty much what booze is made of. So you're gonna drink it? Um, I wouldn't. No, I won't. It might say that that's what it is on the label, but there could be anything in there. True that. True that. This first lesson learned. Always, always look at the label and confirm that's also what's in inside. So bottle of ethanol on the shelf. Label says C2H5 makes seven. O H nine. Good. If not, is nine. Yes. Made of two carbon atoms, six hydrogen, and one X. Is that what it is? Made of two, two, six, one. Maybe this is it. Two, six, one. Come on. Maybe I can. So, two, six, one. Nope. What else was written here? Mm. Carbon dioxide is free. 
Ammonia is 4, ethanol is 9. So 1, 2, 3, 3, 4, 9. Well, look at the first line. Maybe question mark re represents a number. Mm hmm. I think uh, I I've got it, but I don't know what numbers to insert there. Yeah, one comment. Yeah, thanks for explaining. <sighs> Isn't there something else I can use? Ammonia. Uh, I didn't want to do that. Come on. Bottle of iron powder on the shelf. I can only back out like this. So what, what would I need to enter here? Come on, show this to me. So wait, I would, or maybe just enter those. So three, four, nine. This would be my second guess. So three, four, nine, please. Yes, it opened. Ugh. Gosh, an arm, fake right arm and a heart, fake heart. Yay, at least we got those. So we only need the legs now. Go back? Yeah, I think that's probably best. Yep. Clover nodded and left. Chumpy was about to follow her when he realized that Seven wasn't following mm -hmm. suit. What's wrong? Hey, Seven, what's up? Oh, well. He looked up at Chumpy distractedly and then back down at the brown bottle he held, cu he held cupped in his large hands. What is, bottle? Is that a medicine bottle? What is I it? I got curious about it. Here. What's written on it? In response, Seven tossed the bottle gently to Chumpy. He caught it and twisted it around to read the label. Ethylene diamine tartrate? What's that? It has a. Well, it should have some kind of alcohol in it. Yeah, that's right. It's EDT. What's EDT? What kind of medicine is that? It's not medicine. I think it's an industrial strength detergent. Okay. Why would they have something like that here? Well, probably to clean stuff up. Clean what up? Fuck if I know. <laughs> Still, it looks like what? it's cleaned my brain up. How? Chumpe looked up from the bottle. What? You remember something? Yeah. What? So nodded slowly and spoke. Well, I remember a story about EDT. Yep, and I think what that story is, we will listen to it in the next episode. Also, I hope we're gonna find the two legs that are, that are still missing. So, thanks everybody so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode. Until then, stay true to yourselves. Was.